Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a fine, fine day today. I'm feeling great, y'all. Absolutely. But today, guys, I stopped in just to share some of my vegetables that is growing in my garden today. Some of my fall vegetables as well as some of my spring vegetables. <laughs> They're still all doing great. These are doing really good, really good. And I'm rough this morning, baby. Yeah, but um, it's all doing great. But to um, my niece and nephew over there at Back to Our Roots Homestead, you see that, huh, baby? You see that, Chris? Check it out. Yeah. Hey, baby, I ain't gonna dislike you. I'm gonna get like you. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, guys, this is the other 100 gallon grow bag. And as you can see, she is overflowing, baby. She's overflowing. And. She's not even at her peak yet. Mm -mm. She's not at her peak yet. <laughs> so I want to um, transplant some of my mm, plants. But right now it is, it's early in the morning. And I only transplant in the evening so this is one of those kales that I was uh, dropping over there the other day this is one of them right here so I think a botanical interest is a uh, blue dazzling kale and botanical interest I mean Baker Creek is something I don't know but anyway it's one of them it's one of them but this is one of those plants right here she is stunning, y'all. She's stunning over here. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I would like to say this to uh, the older uh, gardeners here, the more uh, experienced gardeners, gardeners that's um, like 50 and over uh, that has been growing, um, you know, for, for, for a while. And you find yourself in this garden community and you see vegetables you've never seen before or you hear fruits you never hear before. When that happens to you, um, baby, just, just start doing your research on that vegetable. But this is just my opinion, okay? <laughs> That's all this is because, you know, you could take what I say and try it or don't. You know, it's, it's just another person's opinion. But if you have been growing vegetables uh, for a long time, like I have, I have been growing vegetables for many years. And when I began to grow vegetables, I did not, uh, now I did not like, uh, gardening at all. Me and gardening, we had nothing in common. No. <laughs> now, I love being outside because that was my thing, but when I'm outside, I like to do what I wanted to do and carry heavy buckets and, and pulling weeds and that was not the thing, right? All my friends, they wasn't doing that. My grandmama didn't make you know, other people do things like she made me do it. He's fat. But my grandmother and my aunt and my, and my grandfather, yeah, I was out there in the garden with three older people, right? And I don't know why I was kind of singled out of all the children. But I was. Uh, but if you were growing to eat, if you watch your grandparents do some things and Jesus, it worked. 
So someone asked me about bone meal. Did my grandmama put bone meal in the soil when I was growing up? No, she did not. Somebody said, well, did she take the chicken bones and throw out that? She did not. Well, let me say this. If she did, I didn't. I never seen her do it. I never seen her do that. Now, I'm going to tell you what I saw as far as fertilizing and stuff like that. Um, when we would um, kill a, uh, when my grandfather would kill a, a hog or, or, or um, and big animals like that, they would dig a trench in the garden. And there's a time of year to do that. The garden was not booming. You know, in the fall, we had about three or four uh, uh, beds. And we talking big beds. We ain't talking about no little, uh, you know, little, 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 little container of garden. You know, we had a big family. But they would dig a trench in the garden and put all of those, all the innards and all of that stuff in the soil but I've never seen my grandmother put like chicken bones or all that other kind of stuff no I've never seen her do that no fish yes my grandfather put fish in the soil yes uh, we lived right by the Mississippi River uh, there were fishing going on almost every day and yes, they did put holes and trenches in the garden. And this is where we put all of those inners in the garden, right? And my grandmother had a special place where she put all of those uh, inners from fish and so on. And that was from where we planted our spring garden. That is what she did. Now, as far as all this other stuff, you know, chicken bone, balling chicken bones and putting out that no, I, I, I never seen uh, her do anything like that. I never seen her boil chicken and pour chicken bones and no, but this is, and I've said this many times on my channel is that I've never seen a, um, a uh, seed pack. And I'm more than sure now that I'm adult, I know that they were around, but my grandparents, they couldn't afford it, but they knew a better way to get their seeds. And that is my grandmother would save our seeds from year to year. My grandmother did not know how to read or write. No. But every season when it was time to drop seed, seeds, everybody got their jars of seeds and just by looking at the seeds she knew she knew family she knew what it was yeah from all the brassicas to um, peppers and um, uh, cayenne peppers that was a thing and really we barely grew, uh, uh, dropped the seed for canines because they are perennials in my area. It's a bush. It just keep on producing all year round. All year round. We, as a garden community, we need each other's method. All of our methods are just as important, all of them, from the old to the new. The most important thing I would say do is to always, always keep yourself educated. Keep yourself educated on what you are growing, what you are eating, or even what you want to grow. Learn of it. Yeah. Learn of it. But don't sell yourself short. If you have been growing for many years. 
and you just now coming back into the garden because of course you had to work and take care of your family but now you find yourself with the time you need to to garden but they do things different let me tell you God way never changes it never changes right so take your seeds drop them in the soil and get on with eating healthy and delicious food hmm? so this is a Romanesco she is in this 17 gallon container all by herself with onions and basil is with her and that's her she's doing really good and this is that um, I don't forgot the name of that kale but it's supposed to be really big 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 <laughs> but anyway that's them I think there's four in here one two three four four yeah there's four of them in here we'll see what they do y'all now she, let me see, one, I thought that was three, one, two, oh, it's four, it's four of them in here, with onions, yeah, onions in here, yeah, just onions, no garlic, is that a garlic, nope, that's an onion, I'm gonna put a garlic in there, yeah, <laughs> maybe she need a little help, just in case help, because, yeah, there's no bug bites, mm -mm. Um, this is broccoli over here. They're doing pretty good, but I need to do something. They heard some weeds in here with them. I need to clean out. I'll, and these are mostly green. Uh, yeah, they do really good. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do some things over here. Yeah. But here's a. Um, this look like a collar or something. I'm not sure, but that's um it's a beet or it's a swiss chard but yeah i'm gonna get these weeds out an elderberry god this is another bed of kohlrabis and greens collards and that's uh swiss chard over there and these guys they in here they in here but all of those are kohlrabis. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of my little Katrina brick beds. Yeah. <laughs> and this is uh, some kind of Romanesco, probably. And that's another something. <laughs> this is turmeric. These are some peppers. Still making peppers. There's another... Um, like a mustard green uh, collard green back there and a carrot and mint spearmint that is yeah mm -hmm. this is my papaya tree that's her she's taller than me now yeah I'm gonna put her in the ground real soon real soon She's probably number four on the list, on the to-do list, because, yeah, you know, everything got to go at its time. Yeah. And that is my lemon back here. She have her lemons. There's a, another one down there, but they doing okay. The olive tree, she's okay. Yeah. She doing her thing. <laughs> this is my in-ground um, Jamaican saw, which I will be harvesting these babies very soon because they are just fat as all outdoors. So I'm going to get them. Yeah, I'm going to get them. Romanesco, I will be taking out a couple of these. Leave one in here. And, of course, okra. This is okra. They're doing good. I harvest about two a day. This is a pepper plant with the, God, with the, uh, what is you? <laughs> oh boy. This is Zena. She all in the mix. Here's 
introduced the peppers to her. I like them when they turn nice and red. They're sweet when they're red. So I let them turn red on the plant. Yeah. I got to get rid of this Zena here though. Come on, girl. Come on. Mullins. That's what that is. Mullin. And another big okra. And I think I better get this okra because in the morning... She'll be bigger than the house, <laughs> and I can't eat it. So there she is. Yeah. And that is the butterfly peas. Yeah. That's them. Getting more and more every day. So that's really cool. You see how windy it is. This is a. I'm thinking that's a Brussels sprout. Yeah. Here are some of my little babies. This is my, some of my little babies right here. And here are some little babies right here. So they all doing good. This is lots of just brassicas. Uh, we got some um, purple lady bok choy, greens. We have onions, we have garlic, just mustard greens, kales, you name it, it's in there, it's in there, baby, <laughs> and Zena's, which they will not have a spot without them, <laughs> anyway, that's them, so here's a lot of my flowers, my jasmine plant right there, my gardenia right there. <laughs> Miss Corey, she's just getting so big. It's a curry plant. She love it. Right under this <laughs> this um, moringa. And of course, that's my hibiscus. My purple salvia looks awful, but you know, she'll love it. She'll love it. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a small moringa tree been taking her leaves too and of course yeah and of course this is my ground cherries and the wind has got her leaning to the left oh we got a ripe one up in here what say what we get a snack we get a snack say what mm. oh ho 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 yeah, baby. Oh, that was sweet, tangy, juicy. Might I have another like the other? <laughs> Come on, girl. Lean up. Lean up, baby. That wind, y'all. <laughs> that wind got her... To the left, let me go get a stick for her. <laughs> All right, now she's sitting up like a big girl. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is my lunch. This is squash. Um, there's some sausage in here that I just almost burnt up, but I'm gonna eat them, <laughs> yeah. And of course, there's a couple of shrimps in here too. Here's some cheesy bread that I almost burnt, but I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> and I have some jasmine rice too, yeah. That is my lunch. Mm, mm hmm To make them sour. Mm hmm mm, mm, it's hot. To make them sour, water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got that water, y'all. Mm hmm This jasmine rice is really good. Really good. I wanted to get some kale, but I didn't get it, so we're going to do this. 
Yep. And mm, Ben is out there working his little heart out. <laughs> So I got him a plate that looks just like this. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend. All right. Later, y'all.